section 15.3 using scales is all about representing very large lengths or areas in a small space or looking at um, a small space on say a map and seeing from say point A to point B taking a measurement and scaling it up to see what the real distance is going to be for example in planning a journey so that's basically what scales is about it's also about drawing scale diagrams so for example um, the side view of a house the side elevation if you've got some real measurements there um, in terms of plans for a builder to go ahead and build the thing then you don't give them a life size drawing you give them a scaled down drawing and uh, off they go and use your plans to build what they have to build so for example um, if you've got something that's 20 meters tall as part of a construction you won't draw a 20 meter um, diagram on a, on a bit of paper what you do you say maybe call it 20 centimeters with that, that, where that corresponds to the 20 meters itself so that would be a scale of 1 centimeter to 1 meter in other words 1 centimeter to 100 centimeters or a scale of 1 to 100. Let's do some real questions here. Question 1, just grade E rate. It's all grade E rate. It's not too difficult, therefore. It says in question 1, working black, I think, um, how many kilometers do these lengths represent on a map that uses the scale of 1 to 70,000? So that's the scale. It's really small. So it's 1 to 70,000. In other words, 1 centimeter on the map is 70,000 centimeters in real life okay so here we go 8 centimeters so I need to say to myself 8 times 70,000 pick up my calculator and that's going to be let's just take a look at that 8 times 7 uh, 56 so I've got 56 followed by 1 2 3 4 noughts 1 2 3 4 there you go, 560,000 centimeters. Now, that's no good, is it? Let's bring it down into meters bit by bit. So, if we then just take off two zeros by dividing by 100, we have 5,600 meters, because um, I just divided by 100 to get it down to meters. Uh, how many meters in a kilometer? There's 1,000, so reduce it further by dividing by 1,000, and that will give us 5.6 kilometers. I think it's you know more challenging than grade E I think getting these big numbers round your round your head so basically an 8 centimeter line on a map or a distance on a map of 8 centimeters actually represents 5.6 kilometers in real life let's just do one more I've got here 8 millimeters great now 8 millimeters is in fact um, let's have a look let's just leave it as millimeters anyway multiply by 70,000 and that's still going to give me, got a glitch again, 560000 as before, but this time it's in millimeters. Let's gradually bring it down to kilometers. Um, well, I can cheat a little bit, can't I? Because I know there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter, so this is going to be 0 0.56. Let's just gradually get there anyway. So 56, 560,000 millimeters. Let's bring it down to centimeters bit by bit this stops being glitchy would be great right there's 10 centimeters uh, 10 millimeters in a centimeter so 56000 zero, zero, zero. I divided by 10 there I'm now in centimeters I felt now want to divide by 100 get it into meters so I'll be 560 yep two noughts have gone now to get it into um, kilometers we need to divide by a thousand all right so one, two, three, here you go, 0 0.56 kilometers. And it's always always safer to do it like this rather than trying to keep all these moving decimal places left and right in your brain. Don't do that. Um, question two is much the same, no different there. I think I'll do question four up here. It says, the map has a scale of one to 20,000. So we're dealing with easier, smaller numbers. I'm glitching like mad here. Okay, resuming, see what happens. 1 to 20,000. How long is a road which measures 7.5 centimeters on the map? So I take my 7.5 centimeters on, by the scale and scale up by 20,000 to give it life sizeness. 
not good English, but never mind, life size. How long is the road? We're not told what to do it in anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll do it anyway. So, 7.5 times 20, 1, 2, 3. Bam. I've got 1, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0 centimetres. Here you go, 150,000 centimetres real life. Well, that's not very useful, is it? You can't visualise 150,000 centimetres. Let's um, divide by 100 to get into metres first. That will give me 1, 5, 0, 0, having lost these two zeros at the end there by dividing by 100. So if that's that many metres. If you want to go further, well, divide by 1,000. Oh, what's wrong with this? Let's try and make this pretty. Divide by 1,000, and that will give me, go back three places, 1.5 kilometres. All right, so that's okay, 1.5 kilometres. Uh, part B says a field is 400 metres long. How long is this field on the map? Well, we've got to divide by 20,000, haven't we? And the answer will be in metres. And we we'll have to sort of play and get into more sensible units. So 400 metres divided by 20,000 is, I have 0.0. .0 0.02 meters. Now, just as before, we were dividing to get down to sensible numbers. We need to multiply up. Um, if I multiply by 100, I get these meters into centimeters, and therefore that becomes two centimeters. Because 0.02 meters multiplied by 100 gives me two centimeters. So that's fine. Um, question five is just a scale diagram again, based on a bearing. It says they've got something like this really I'm not going to draw it accurately but this is what we've got essentially we have north pointing north a point C a point B and a point A and it says uh, this is question 5 by the way it says ABC are three points B is three kilometers due south of C in other words that's three kilometers um, and A is four kilometers due east of C so that's that way that's four kilometers and it says draw an accurate scale diagram showing the positions of A, B and C and I've got to use a scale of 1 to 50,000 oh ok then so let's write this down 1 to 50,000 if this thing works I'll be so happy right 1 to 50,000 alright then so let's have a look how we can do this then take my four kilometers which is four thousand meters um, if I divide it by fifty thousand I'm going to get something quite nice so four thousand divided by fifty thousand um, scaling down that is I've got naught point zero eight meters and you know again it's quite difficult um, to uh, I mean it's inappropriate to call something 0 0.08 meters if you're trying to draw a scale but if you now go and multiply that by 100 you can see that that equals doing doing eight centimeters so really your four kilometer line from C to A is represented by an eight centimeter line in your book so if I highlight that and put here equals eight centimeters as you can see numerically we've doubled up so the three kilometers is going to be represented by six centimeters is that all right <coughs> so that's the way you do it so divide to scale down so we can write it in our book we're not going to write down four kilometers in our book so we divide by um, 50,000 so I've already converted the four kilometers into meters just to make it you know, one step easier 0 0.08 meters otherwise known as 8 centimeters so 4 kilometer line 8 centimeters 3 kilometer line 6 centimeters in your book then you just join the ends all right uh, measure the distance from A to B well I can't do that uh, so if I just give you, give you a little sign to measure this length then you can do it in class 
and uh, whatever it is you, you uh, divide by 2 and put the answer into kilometers so what is the actual distance this is part C what is the actual distance from A to B so basically measure the length in centimeters then divide by 2 for your answer in kilometers is that alright? that's that what else is worth doing? I think I'll pause and read some questions and ones that I think I, would, I want to do, I'll do right I'm back and I definitely want to do question 7 and question 8 I really like them right question 7 then we've got Molly now Molly draws a plan of her classroom using a scale of 1 to 40 that's important otherwise we can't progress the classroom is 8 meters long and Molly says her scale drawing will be 5 centimeters so I'll put 5 centimeters question mark here is she correct give a reason for your answer well let me work out the actual length on the scale for her so essentially we're going to take the 8 meters and divide that by 40 because it is a 40th of the real length now 8 divided by 40 is 0 0.2 meters now 0 0.2 meters if we now go and multiply by 100 will give us 20 centimeters so Molly is wrong I reckon what Molly did was to say ah I, this is Molly thinking this is Molly there and she's gonna have some big big thoughts and this is Molly's thought she said ah 40 divided by 8 equals 5 and of course she's wrong there wrong thinking alright we take our 8 meters divide by 40 to shrink it down to the correct size using the correct scale um, the answer will be 0 0.2 of a meter otherwise known as 20 centimeters which is an ok size in an A4 exercise book so she's wrong and we've proved it we don't have to say what she did wrong but that's what she did essentially now question 8 is lovely so I'm going to do it with you now this is Paul, he's a keen model maker and he makes the following models, he's got a Spitfire ok that's a fighting aeroplane I believe the scale of the model is 1 to 72 and the model is 12.2 centimeters long and the question is how long is the actual Spitfire well the model is scaled down 1 to 72 so it is 1 72nd of the original length of the true length so it's quite simply I'm going to take my 72 and multiply that by the 12.2 in fact really I should take my 12 I'll get the same answer I, I should take my 12.2 centimeters first and then scale up by 72 times it's a better way round of thinking although it gives the same answer so 12.2 times 72 gives us get ready 878.4 and it's, the answer is going to be in centimeters. I've not changed anything yet. Well, if we divide by 100, we're going to get 8.784 meters, and that's good enough. It's more sensible, isn't it? So that's uh, Paul Spitfire. Now he he also has the, the HMS Bounty. Sounds like a ship. So let's have let's call it H. A, yeah, Her Majesty's ship Bounty. Might be His Majesty's ship. I don't know. Right. The model is. <coughs> 37.2 centimeters long the actual ship this is the real ship is 40.92 meters long what is the scale of the model okay then in order to create a ratio I need to compare like with like so centimeters and meters are not the same I can scale this down to or rather I can convert this to meters or I can convert this to centimeters, it makes no difference. So leave this alone for now, 37.2 centimeters, and if I multiply this by 100, it's 4092 centimeters. Now I can do a little scale. So set up a little ratio like that. If I divide both sides by um, 37.2, then I'm, this will become 1, and this will become whatever it becomes. So 37.2 divided by 37.2 is 1 and 4092 I'm glad it's a calculator unit divided by 
37.2 gives us 110. So the scale is 1 to 110. Now just to prove to you it can go the other way as well, I'm going to work the same thing here. So I'm going to convert this into meters. So 0.372 compared with 40.92, this time we're using meters. If I then divide by the 0.372, this will become 1. If I divide this by um, 0.372, again I'm just playing with maths here. So 40.92 divided by 0.372 still gives me 110. You can believe me or you try it yourself, but either way it works. All right. So that's us creating a scale using two bits of information. And I'm going to stop there. Uh, it says it only goes up to grade E. I reckon it's worth a little bit more getting your head around all this kind of stuff. So we'll stop now and that's using the scales done.